Pots! Get your pots, yeah! Spare pots, we got scrap pots, Makita pots, super heavy samurai pots, orchest pots. We got pots! Pots for sale! You want some pots? You want some pots? We'll get you some pots! Lads, welcome back to Fusion YGO. Today, if you didn't pick up on it, we're playing some spare parts. Um, this is Super Heavy Samurai Scrap Machina Orchest. It, that is a mouthful to basically call it moss. Let's go ahead and dive right into it, shall we? We're gonna start with each engine and we're gonna break it down as best we can. I personally have found that this list is silly levels of fun. Um, so let's talk about it. So first we're gonna start with three copies of Lee Old Orchest Harp Horror. This card is bonkers. It's I'm so happy it's at three. I'm so happy it's back. It actually makes this deck far more viable because it's at three and it gives you more machine discards that in instantly in in advance your game state uh, that don't require a normal summon or a way to summon itself. So I find Harp Horror at Three actually really bridges the gap for this version of the deck. We are also playing two copies of Gearsu. Uh, Gearsu, you want to be able to summon out of the deck when possible with Harp Horror. It's your second best card in terms of the Orcus engine, in my opinion. Um, and it is another starter card. If you don't see any other starters, it is technically a starter. Um, we are playing one copy of Orcus Nightmare. This card, it doesn't come up a lot, but it is able to trigger in the damage step with Babel Live. So you want to know that, um, especially playing a deck like this, where people are going to try to uh, use the battle phase to, to kill your monsters occasionally. Um, Nightmare is insane for that. Um, and it's a, you know, it's a foolish burial for the archetype. Uh, we are also playing one copy of Symbol Skeleton, Monster Reborn, one copy of World Wand, summons out of the Banish or your DDR. And then we're playing exactly one copy of Babel and Crescendo, and that's it. Babel turning them all into quick effects, highly important, uh, especially in the archetype, it turns every Orcist effect into a quick effect. Crescendo is an Omni Negate. Uh, it is part of the ideal end board that really only requires two cards, but can do some really silly, insane stuff. Uh, so we're gonna get into it in a little bit. So let's, that's the Orcist package. Next up is the Super Heavy Samurai. So we've got three copies of a motorcycle. Um, it's your searcher for your archetype. It's another st starter. If this video hits 20 likes, we will do the combo tutorial, okay? Three copies of Wakaoshi. Uh, Wakaoshi will allow you to summon itself and then put another one in the pendulum scale. And then uh, when it's used as synchro material, it puts itself back in the scale, giving you access to pendul uh, pendulum summoning, which is crazy. Uh, two copies of Bin Big Ben Kai, only because you want to have one in the deck so you can use Wakaoshi. Um, but one of the cool things that I found is that you can banish this for another card in the archetype in the end deck, and you can reset put it in the deck with Galatea to allow you the opportunity to use Wakaoshi multiple times in a game. Uh, so if you get into a grind game or if you open too many of them, there's ways to use it. Uh, then we're playing one copy of Soul Piercer which is just a searcher for any of the other cards. Uh, Soul Gaia Booster. Uh, one copy of Scales, which is a monster reborn and actually can matter if you have a way to it. Uh, the card's crazy. And one copy of Wagon, which is another starter, uh, giving you another potential combo piece right there. So uh, that does it for the Super Heavy Samurai Engine. Next up, three copies of Scrap Recycler and two copies of Golem. That is the whole scrap package we're running in this list. You can run more. I'm sure Christian, our wonderful editor, is gonna run more, but I actually think this is perfect. You can cut a Golem if you are assuming you're never gonna see it, but because it's a rock, it like Big Benkai, there's, there's not a lot of ways to send it to the graveyard, so you want to have one to summon from the deck. Highly important, not necessarily the way I want to run it, but it is the version, like the way you have to run it, I think, in this version. Next, we're playing three copies of Machina Fortress. Uh, this could get cut to two, but I like it as an extender. It helps you clean up your hand from excess uh, machines. And then we're playing one copy of Citadel and one copy of Ruin Force. Citadel is part of the perfect world combo. Um, Ruin Force is just a big body that can come up clutch as a secondary monster to summon from the graveyard, which allows you to set up your banish pile for other cards. Uh, we are also playing one copy of Therion King Regulus. It's an additional negate, and uh, the perfect hand will give you this as well, but opening it isn't a bad thing because most of your deck is machines. The only non-machines are the two golems and the next six, car seven cards. 
And that's it. Everything else is a machine. Except for the spell and trap. Uh, we were playing three copies of Space Rock. Remember, Nibiru is even better in this deck going second, because if they break your board, but you've like, but you haven't used any of your Orcist effects, you can use an use Nibiru and then chain an Orcist effect, so it tributes the whole field, and nothing happens. It just wipes the field. It just gives a hard reset to the turn, and because you're playing Orcist and a couple of other engines that work in the graveyard, it doesn't negatively impact you, and it keeps a card in your hand for discard fodder for later. It for your turn. So three space rock. Uh, we're playing three copies of the wonderful forehead. And last but not least, I needed a 40th card. Uh, I went with Ghost Bell. It's good against a couple of different matchups and I think it's a neat inclusion. That is gonna do it for the main deck. Let's go to the extra deck, which also has some changes that will be happening in the near future for me, but right now it is um, constrained. So let's get into it. Two copies of Scrap Wyvern. Uh, this could get cut to one. You really only need it to go off once, and if it gets stopped, it's not a huge deal. But two Wyvern for now, you could change that out with other cards. Maybe another Synchro Monster, or like a Dispiter, which is an option. Um, there's other cards you can run instead of this, but I like two Wyvern. It didn't come up, it hasn't come up so far, but there are, in theory, ways that this can come up. Uh, we are also playing two copies of Galatea, the most important card in your extra deck, in my opinion. Uh, one copy of Longirsu, two copies of Dingirsu, uh, the best boss monster in Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion. Uh, and then for the generic extra deck stuff, we're playing an IP Mascarena. Uh, this card, uh, Phoenix, is probably gonna, it's not probably, it's going to become an SP Little Knight. I'm just waiting on it to show up, but crazy good card. Uh, and we're also playing Unicorn uh, to shuffle things back. And then we've got Appaloza and Access Code Talker. Appaloza is actually completely summonable off of the scrap package. I'll show you in the combo tutorial, so make sure you smash that like button. And lastly, we're playing one Spriggan's Merrymaker, one Ch Gigantic Champion Sargas, and one copy, copy of Cyframe Lord Omega. So the reason for Omega is your end board ideally is gonna end on four to five interruptions. With Omega, you can rip a card out of their hand, so they only start with five cards, four cards, depending. So that's the theory behind that. It also puts Wakaoshi back in the pendulum zone. Highly important. For the side deck, this is still being tinkered with, but it's really solid, so at least in theory. Two copies of Kurikara and two copies of Pankratops. This is just for board wipes. Um, and dealing with, like, this is for board wipes for monsters, this is for dealing with back row. It just helps you gain advantage. Um, the other option is you could run Fenrir in place of, like, the Kurikaras and the next card. Uh, if you wanted to, it's just kind of personal preference. Uh, we are also playing one Gizmek. Gizmek actually could come in for either Big Benkai, if you're like, I'm not going to see it, or uh, Golem, same reasoning. This card is incredibly useful and versatile being a level eight dark machine. So I just like having it just in case. Uh, we have three copies of Droll and Lockbird. You could make the argument to main this. If you could find the space, do it. I haven't found the space and the deck is pretty efficient at breaking boards. Uh, three copies of Effect Veiler. It's a monster effect negate. And then the Bice deals, we're running one of each. Magnemut, Druus Worm, Sauronir, and Baldrake. That is going to do it for my super heavy samurai, Scrap Machina Orchest, or as I like to call it, Spare Parts, as you might call it, Moss. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you smash that like button, 20 likes, we do a combo tutorial. Subscribe if you haven't already, we're on the path to 1200, and we'd like to hit 2K if possible sooner rather than later. And um, you know, if you like Orcus content, Scrap content, or other rogue and fun content, make sure that you are uh, hitting that bell so you get notified every time we go and do stuff. Christian does some really cool live streams, so until next time, lads, good fun, have luck, and I'll see you in the combo tutorial in a couple days. <laughs>